Good morning everyone. Welcome back to another round of Tinkercad projects. Today we're going to create a road scene for our car that we did last week. So let's get started. Once you're signing to Tinkercad, go back to your old car project, click on the Tinker This button. Alright, now the first thing to do is we're going to move our car out of the work plane, but we have to group it first. So I'm going to just drag a red border or drag my cursor over the car. Okay, group all the shapes together. Alright, don't forget to check whether it's multicolor ticked. Okay, once done, just drag your car out of the work plane. Alright, leave it aside so we got enough space to build the road. Okay. So first things first, we're going to add a road, bring out a box shape, let's change the dimensions, click the corner white dot, the side facing you change to 60, okay, the other side change to 200, so this is the length of the work plate, okay, it's going to be pretty big and long. Alright, I'm going to put it on the left, change the height, click the white dot, 10. Okay, it's going to be a low road and road pavement. Alright, I'm going to change this color to gray. This is going to be my road pavement. Once done, I'm going to duplicate this shape. Okay, and pull out the duplicated copy of the road pavement to the right side. Alright, now I'm going to do the road. Bring out a box shape again. Alright, click the corner white dot. The side facing you, we're going to make it longer than the pavement. We're going to make it 80. The other side, 200. Length of work plate. Okay, move your box into the middle of the two road pavement. Alright, if you're using your computer, use your arrow keys to help you adjust. If you're using iPad, use your finger to move around. Okay, change the height, click the white dot. 10. Okay, and then we're going to change this color to black. Alright, if you find that it's still a bit too long, you can always squish it by clicking and dragging the, any of the black squares. Okay, now our road is almost done. Let's add the white stripes that you see on the road. Add a box shape onto the middle of the road. Let's change the dimensions. Corner white dot. Side facing you change to 30. The other side we're going to change to, oh sorry, side facing you change to 10. Okay, it's going to be short facing you. The other side change to 30. Okay, height, we don't need the road lines to be so high. So click the top white dot, change to 11. 1 mm taller than the road. Okay, so at least you can see it. Use your arrow keys to position it nicely. Alright, then change the color to white. Okay, once done, we're going to duplicate this. Duplicate. Alright, use your arrow keys or your finger to move your stripe upwards. Okay, we're going to click duplicate again. And automatically, Tinkercad will help you shift the last stripe to the end. Okay, so you should have a nice road like that. Alright, perfect. So this is our completed road. Let's group all the shapes together. So select all the road shapes. On your iPad, you will need to click all the shapes individually. On computer, you need to click and drag over them. Okay, and then let's do a group. Alright, don't forget to enable your multicolor. Tick the multicolor. Okay, now let's work on our buildings. We're going to do one building first. I'm going to bring out a box, put it outside the work plane in front of the car. Okay. I'm going to change the dimensions, click the corner white dot, side facing me, I'm going to change it to 50, the other side 25, okay, the height, click the top white dot, 90. Okay, so this is going to be a tall building, if you want you can change the color at this step. Okay, now I'm going to add a roof for my building, bring out another box shape, change the dimensions, corner white dot, Side facing you, I'm going to change it a bit longer than this side of the building. I'm going to make it about 55. Okay, other side, I'm going to make it to 30. 
Okay, now once done, I'm going to change the height. I'm going to make it about 5. Alright, and then from here, you can also change your color of your roof if you want before you start to do anything else. Okay, now I have to put the roof on top of my building. Click and drag the black cone. I'm going to raise it up to 90, which is the same height of my building. Let me pull it here so you can see. 90. Okay, now I'm going to put these two shapes aligned together. So how I do that? I'm going to carefully select just the two shapes. Align. Okay, I'm going to click middle dot in the center here and middle dot at the side here also. Okay, oops. Let me try that again. I accidentally grouped the car. Okay, select both shapes only. Align. Middle dot, middle dot. Okay, and then both shapes will be very neatly aligned like this. Just going to shift it a bit to the side. Okay, now for the windows, I'm going to add another box shape. Okay, click the corner white dot. In front of me, I'm going to change the length to 15. Okay, the side is going to be 3. Alright, the height, I'm going to make it a square, so I'm going to make it 15 as well. Alright. And then you can change the color to blue for the window. Okay, now once done, you can slowly move your window towards your building. Okay, use your arrow keys or your finger to help you. And then you can duplicate this. Or what you can do is, what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise first. Then I duplicate my shape. Okay, and then I shift all my duplicated shapes to wherever I want it to be. Okay. For the second row, you might need to use the black cone to change the height. Okay, so Tinkercad is all about adjusting your shapes. Alright, you need to know exactly what you want and then you need to be able to shift it accordingly. Okay? Alright, now for my last shape. I'm going to push it down a bit more. Okay, so about 5 windows is good for me. Alright, it's up to you how many you want to add. You can change. Okay, now for the door, I'm going to bring out another box shape. Okay, click the corner white dot. I'm going to change the dimensions. The side facing me, I'm going to make it 15. Alright, the one at the side, I'm going to make it 3. Okay, the height, I'm just going to make it a bit taller than my window. Let's try double, 30. Okay, and then I'm going to change the color of my door. Alright, you can choose whatever color you want before you finally bring it into your building. Okay, so once you're happy with this, we are going to select all the building shapes. So you might have to zoom out to do this. Just be careful not to click onto the car. Okay, alright, select all your building shapes. Let's do a quick group. Alright, don't forget to tick multicolor. Okay, once done, we're going to rotate the building. Click the double hit red arrow. Alright, turn it 90 degrees this way. And then we're going to move it onto the road. Okay, if you find that your building is sinking onto the road, what you can do is to raise it up by 10. Okay, this is the road height. Okay, now once done, if you want to add another building, just do a duplicate, alright, and then you can shift your other building to the other side. Okay, if you want to change color, you can just do a double click onto the shapes that you want to change the color for. So let's say my building itself, I'm going to click click this shape, change the green, the roof, click click the roof, change it to a dark green. Okay, it's entirely up to you what you want to do. Alright, now for the last item, we're going to do a traffic light. Let me just zoom in a bit. Okay, I'm going to add a box shape to my work plane. I'm going to change the dimensions. Corner white dot, 15 by 15. Okay, the height, click the top white dot. I'm going to change it to about 30. Okay, then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to my inspector, click the arrow down, change the color. 
sorry, not change the color, change the radius to 3. Okay, so I can round the sides. And then after that, I change the color to black. Okay, for my traffic light. Once done, I'm going to raise this up. Click the black cone, raise up by 35. That's going to be the height of my pole. Okay, so add a cylinder here. Okay, this is my pole that supports the traffic light box. Click the corner white dot. Change the dimensions 5 by 5. We don't need this to be so thick. Change the height to 35. Okay, change the color if you want. I'm going to use a gray. Okay, and then I'm going to align both shapes together. So select both traffic light shapes. Align. Middle dot 1, middle dot 2 at the side. Okay, now once done, I'm going to add three spears for my traffic lights. So I'm going to add a spear to my work plane outside. Okay, change the dimensions. Click the corner white dot. 5 by 5. The height top white dot change to 5. Okay, so it's going to be a small spear. Let me just zoom in a bit so you can have a better look. Okay, change the color to red. I'm going to raise up this spear by 57. So I'm going to click the black cone. Raise it up by 57. Okay, then use my arrow keys to just shift it to my traffic light. Okay, once you're happy with this, let's duplicate this. Okay, duplicate one time. The next spear, let's push it down to about 49. Okay, change the color for this to yellow. And the last one, duplicate again. Okay, immediately, Thinkercat will help you push down. If you like this height, keep it there. Change the last spear to green. So there you go, you got all your three traffic light colors. Okay, let's group all these shapes together. Alright, so select all the traffic light shapes. Be careful when you select. Group. Okay, thick multicolor. Alright, and then don't forget to raise up the whole traffic light by 10 before you finally move it to your road pavement. Okay, now everyone, we're almost finishing. Let's just move the car back to the road plane. Okay, so for your car, if you think that it's too big, you can click and drag the white dot at the corner to make it a bit smaller before you start to rotate, okay? So to rotate your car, click the red double-headed arrow on the ground. Okay, we're going to turn it by 90 degrees this way. And then I'm going to raise up my car by 10 so that it's resting nicely on the road. Okay, and then once I'm done, just shift the car to my road. All right, there you go. Perfect, a very nice road scene is completed. Okay, so once you're done, I need you to take a photo of your work. Click on the button Send To. Okay, click on the smaller button Download Locally. This should help you save a picture of the car into your computer. If you're using iPad, you will need to click on the View button and you need to follow my instructions for different steps. Okay, if you're done saving your work, close. Alright, don't forget to click the Tinkercad icon to save your work before you sign up. Okay, have fun with it. Enjoy the process.